All right, all right, all right. Shalom. Shalom, Ahab, Wa, Baraka. In other words, peace, love, and blessings. First and foremost, call Halal Ayahawa, Baha Shimmy Hawa Shai, Baha Shimmy Kwakadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, the teachers, the elder apostles, the prophets, and the teachers of GMS that have been bringing out this truth for the last 30 plus years. Also, the sincere Akia Wa Akwa salutations. Let me get right into it. So, um, I was going to continue reading on the book of Sirach, but you know, um, just, you know how the how how Yahawa does the how about how Shemi how Shai, he decides what you're gonna bring out. So, um, my son, uh, we do homeschool, so he has to go to a play group. You know, my my kids go to a play group once a week and hang out with other kids because they're homeschooled. We we keep them away from the actual indoctrination station, so we don't let them into the buildings of the schools. There's no reason for it. They don't teach anything at school, but. The point is, is when my son goes down to the playgroup, he's an Israelite. He's Yashar Allah. And just recently it was Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. Well, he rebuked. He rebuked all through that. At 11 years old, he rebuked like I do when I get on the streets. And so I was had to explain to him. So let me show you what, what, what I was telling my son now. Let's get into it. Um, let's go to Isaiah 29, and we're going to start at verse 20, but the point's in 21. Um, in fact, let's, yeah, let's start at 20. For the terrible one is brought to naught, he's brought to nothing, and the scorner is consumed, taken out. And all that watch for iniquity are cut off. Everybody's trying to see the wrongdoings. Okay, but this is the point. That make a man an offender for a word, and... Lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate. And turn aside the just for a thing of naught. So, well, so this is what, so when he started rebuking these guys, I had to tell him yesterday. It's because they made you an offender for words. They don't want to hear it. They, they would rather go down with the ship. They hate. In fact, let's get that. So, he's out there rebuking in the gates like he was taught. Mm -hmm. Let me get that. We should have started with that. We should have started with that. Teach your children in the way in which they should go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Um, this is Proverbs 22 and 6. Train up your child in the way he should go and when he is old. He will not depart from it. My son's already prophesying in the playground. So when you teach your kid the same thing for a certain amount of time, it's going to start to rub off on him. So I had to explain to him, they're, they're making you an offender for the word's sake because they don't understand the truth. They don't want to understand the truth. There's a difference. They don't want the truth. They want the lie. But Christmas is so great. And Thanksgiving, oh, it's not like that. I'm just giving thanks for my family. What about my family that got fucking murdered? Murdered for hundreds of years. Until we were all almost completely gone, wiped off the map. We have no more culture. We have no more past. Our, the, 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 the Negroes' new history starts at the transatlantic slave trade. You gotta be fucking joking. So, let's stay, let's stay with the class. Uh, yeah, the, Clearly, this stuff bothers me. Let's go to Amos chapter 5. Let's go down to verse 10. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speak uprightly. He's 11 years old. He's already doing this. So I had to tell him, listen, son, I commend you for what you're doing. But now that you know these things, it's time to move forward just a little bit further. we got to move just a little bit more forward. So... I want to show you guys what I told them. Let's go to the book of Matthew. Yeah, when I speak to my kids, I speak through the scriptures. There's no reason to try and teach your child something and not come with these scriptures. That just means you're coming out of pocket. Everything revolves around the scripture. Matthew chapter 7. Let's get it. Let's 
She did it to me again. I asked for Matthew, and it fucking doesn't give it to me. About getting pissed off at this. I can't wait until this B system is destroyed. I can't wait until it's destroyed. I can't even pull scriptures out of my damn computer. Why? Because every time it fills the algorithm of me going precept to precept, it, my whole fucking system glitches out. And I ain't joking about that. When are you guys going to wake up? My son's 11 years old rebuking in the gates daily. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? Oh, I'm watching. I, I, I'm rebuking online <laughs> on my computer. I, every single person that said a, said a, uh, 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 a comment to my comment board, I'll go straight to your channel. I'm going straight to your channel. And guess what? You ain't got nothing. You be on YouTube for 10 years, just a straight couch monkey, comment board monkey. That's all you are. Get out of here. Get out of here. I got an 11 year old rebuking in the gates having real problems because these kids are demons. They're just a bunch of little demons running around. Matthew 7 and 6. Give not that which is holy to dogs. So I had to tell him that. Give not. Don't teach these people scripture anymore because you found out. You learned. Dust your shoes off and go to the next house. You know why? Because all of them, they're demons. Every single person in his playgroup celebrates Christmas, Easter, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Birthdays, Mother's Day, Father's Day. My son's just looking at him like, you guys are fucking crazy. This stuff is against scripture. You hate Yahweh Baha Shiv, Yahweh Shai. So I had to tell him, son, these people aren't going to change. The foolishness, the, the, the Yahweh finds the foolishness of your teaching, um, he finds it acceptable. He's, he's proud, he's, he's happy about that. I had to tell my son that, but. This is uh, Matthew 7 and 6. I had to tell him. This is how you teach your kids to be circumspect. Give not that which is holy unto dogs. Neither cast your pearls before swine. Lest they trample them under their feet and turn again to rend you. So what did they do? He told them sincerely, oh, you can't do that. That's evil. It's wicked. And they're like, mad. They trampled his doctrine down. They made fun of him. And now they, they pick on him every time he goes to the playgroup. Now, I'm, I'm personally, I'm just going to tell you, you know, I didn't teach Aiden how to fight. I taught my older son how to fight. And he went around and beat the brakes off of everybody. So I didn't teach Aiden how to fight. Because I'm afraid he's going to do the same thing. He's going to start beating people up. So um, he has to do it through the scripture. And he knows it. And I told him, these scriptures, in fact, I told him, Dude, there ain't nothing to worry about out there. Don't you listen to nobody. If the Spirit is on you, if the Most High tells you to say something, you say it. And, and, when, and I had to explain to him that when he's bringing out the word, Yahweh is going to send protection. So let's prove it. This is 2 Kings 6 and, 7, 6 and 14. 2 Kings 6 and 14. Therefore sent he thither horses and chariots and a great host, and they came by night and compassed the city about. So these people snuck in at night and they surrounded the entire city. They're completely surrounded. There's no way out. And that's how my son probably felt at playgroup. He's surrounded by these kids. Now he rebuked them and now they're all against him. And now he feels trapped. So... Therefore sent he thither horses and chariots and a great host, and they came by night and compassed the city round about. And when the servant of the man of Yahweh was risen early and gone forth, behold, the host compassed the city and the, the city both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? Now watch this. We're coming up to the point right now. And he answered, fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elijah prayed, Elisha, I'm sorry, and Elisha prayed and said, Yahweh, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And Yahweh opened his eyes and the young man 
of, of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. My son gets those same chariots, those same horses, that same mountain, everything surrounding him. When he brings out the word sincerely, honestly, and, and righteousness, and in 100% truth, those kids are doomed. They mocked him, they made fun of him, and now they pick on him. And I told him, don't, you know, cast not your pearls among the swine because all they're going to do is destroy the pearls and then they're going to come after you. But um, at the same time, <clears throat> at the same time, walk circumspectly in the truth. What chapter and verse, right? Walk circumspectly in the truth. Um, let's get it. This is how my, my, we're, we're going to win. It says, um, I'm going to get that too, but where are we at? I, um, I can't see that good. And I don't know where my glasses are, but I really want to bring this class out more than worrying about whether I can see it or not. There. Jeez. I am. I'm really frustrated today. If there's one thing I'd love to do, I'd love to go and teach those parents and see how see if they try to react the way their kids do. Because they're all doomed. Dust your shoes off. Go to the next house, I tell my son. Let's go to Ephesians um, chapter 5, starting at verse... 15. So I told him, don't cast your pearl amongst the swine. And then I told him this. See that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. So what I tell him, I told him, be wise, man. If the Spirit's on you to bring out the word, bring it out. But remember this. The people that you're around right now, you've told them what the truth is. And... They, they literally are attacking you for it now. So, going back into um, Romans, chapter 12, starting at verse, oh, well, let's just get the points in uh, verse 18. So, I told him to be circumspect. I told him, don't cast your pearl among these swine anymore, pretty much. I mean, if the if the spirit is on you and you feel like the person needs to hear the truth, there's nothing you can do to stop it. Bring the truth. But always remember this. Like, these people are coming after you. They're attacking you. So when you're walking circumspectly, that means that you can't cast your pearls amongst everybody. You can't tell everybody this truth anymore because it's amazing. Cry aloud, spare not. Raise up thy voice like a trumpet. But once you've done that and, and they're rejecting you, it, there's no reason to give them any more information. That's what I mean by that. You can't teach everybody. You can tell everybody once. And after that, you got to cut them off. You got to cut them off. So if it be possible, this is um, Romans. Um, Romans. Um, what is it? Five. I'm sorry. No, wait. Um, where are we at? Romans what? Romans 12. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Ugh. Let me have a drink of this. I haven't even had a drink of coffee yet, too. Ugh. All right. Romans 5 and 18. If it be possible, as much as life in you, live peaceably with all men. So... It, even though um, these um, these little kids are wicked, you've got to be circumspect. You know now that you can't really cast your pearl among these swine. But you still have to be peaceable with them because you have to be around them sometimes. So I'm going to get one more and we're going to close out. Let's stay in the book of Romans. Let's go to chapter 16. Everybody should know this verse. Come on. That's what it does. See, it tried to do it again. It tried to do it again, and I caught it this time. 
<coughs> I'm, I'm going precept upon precept, and this thing just hates me for it. So, Romans 16 and 17, this is a go-to verse for any Israelite, whether you're young, old, you knew the truth, you've been teaching the truth your whole life. This is the go-to verse for these, for these people that I'm talking about. This is Romans 16 and 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned, and avoid them. So, the end result of this is my wife decided that um, instead of it escalating and me showing my son how to beat the brakes off of somebody because of this, because he's got to be able to defend himself. My dad was a martial arts instructor uh, in special forces. So all this whole family, except for my littlest ones, knows martial arts. <laughs> Military martial arts. We were, cause we talk, so I didn't want to teach him, but I'm going to have to teach him how to defend himself if they're going to be picking on him because he said some words. He became an offender because he told them the truth. They hate those that rebuke. In the gates daily, they hate those that speak up rightly. So, um, like I said, I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned, and avoid them. So, we're probably just going to find a new play group to go to, I think. I mean, personally, it's best to just um, just back away from those wicked-ass people. I mean, what, what's, what, what can he get out of this group at this point? A bunch of kids that celebrate birthdays and Halloween and Christmas and Easter. And they don't like my son because he doesn't do any of that stuff. And he's never done any of that stuff. My youngest son has absolutely never in his life celebrated a Christmas or an Easter or any of that shit. Birthdays, none of it. We buy our kids stuff all the time. Why do I got to take one day out of the year and exalt them like they're a god? It's not happening. Not in this house. And with that being said, if you got eyes to see and ears to hear, if your kids are having problems, remember, these scriptures are what protect them. These scriptures, when you start bringing out these scriptures, Yahweh sees that. Baal Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Rukwa, Kadash, the Most High, His Son, the Holy Spirit, they're with you. Stand strong. And uh, let me get one more. Stand strong. This is Matthew chapter uh, 24. I think it's in verse 13. Yep. The, um, he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. You know, somebody told me, oh, da, da, a Christian, of course. Christians don't know what the Bible says. But anyway, the person that, I don't want to get into what the Christian said because they don't understand the Bible. They truly think that they're saved and they chose Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. But in the scriptures, it says that Yahweh had to choose us and he chose the certain people, not because they were the biggest, but they were the least among the people. So no, you don't get to make that choice. But anyway, like I said, but he that endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Um, so, it's a tough ride. It's a tough ride being in the truth sometimes because everybody around you is wicked and they're not in the truth. They don't care about what the scriptures say. They only care about the way they feel, when they feel, the way they feel. And that's it. So, with that, with that being said... If you got eyes to see and ears to hear, I hope you got something out of this message. Shalom.